If you're nervous about flying to Australia and going through the airports on your own, then this video is for you. Come with me as I fly back to Australia. But first of all, help me say bye to my dog, Toby. So sad. No matter how long you've been away from home, it is never easy to say goodbye. This is seven years of me going back and forth from home and it always breaks my heart. I'm going from Dublin airport here, but every journey is pretty much the same. Make sure to get there early enough, three or four hours beforehand. The hardest part is the goodbye before security. Never gets any easier. This is me and mum having another cry. Seven years later, still doing it. Get through security and follow the signs. Soon you know you'll be kicking back and relaxing and enjoying the flight. I'm gonna have at least two journeys. Mine is 14 hours and eight hours. And it's bottomless drinks, so drink up. There's adapters online for your phone chargers and there's lots of movies, so just enjoy the journey and don't worry about what lies ahead. It can be nerve wracking. If you have a connection flight in Doha or Dubai or any of those big airports, it can seem overwhelming. They are huge, so make sure to get to your gate on time. If you have time, definitely stop off in the business lounge. I always do it, pay at the door and then get some food, a shower, and just have that break in between the flights before I get on the second flight. This is the most important part. Just before you land in Australia, you're gonna to have to fill out this form. So make sure you have an address for Australia when you get here, whether that's a hostel or a friend's house you're staying in, and make sure to fill out both sides and have a pen with you and your passport and your flight ticket, don't throw that out. You need to keep a hold of this when you're getting off the flight. The air hostesses will hand it to you. When you land in Australia, it's gonna feel mad that you're here, but there's still a bit of work to be done. The next thing is immigration, where you're gonna come across these machines. You stick your passport in, get a little ticket, and go through security. Then it's all systems go, grab your luggage, and head to priority pickup for your Uber, or express pickup if a friend's coming to get you. Most places have SIM cards. Underneath this escalator in Sydney is where there's free SIM cards. And it's really that simple. You don't need to stress about the journey. Just enjoy the experience. Head to my page to follow more of my top tips and enjoy the next chapter of your life and stry, you might.